Hey guys, it's Amy again. It's dinner time and tonight we are making a spaghetti squash carbonara. So this is a really easy recipe, low carb because we're using spaghetti squash opposed to pasta. So I've already prepared my spaghetti squash. I cut it in half, I de-seeded it, I flipped it upside down in a pan, put a little bit of water in it, foil, baked it at 400 for about 30 to 40 minutes depending on how big your squash is. And then I just took a fork and started to shred it. So that's all done and it's it's still warm and I'm, I just set it aside for a minute. Now I've got a second thing going on. I have a nice big pan. I put just a tiny bit of olive oil in this because this is not a non-stick pan. And I am going to fry some bacon. I'm still waiting. It takes a while. Still cooking. Okay, so my bacon is cooked now. I'm gonna remove that from the pan. I'm just gonna put it on a plate with a paper towel so it can get rid of some of that grease. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. Now we have a lot of extra grease in here. We don't want this much. You wanna make sure you have the fire off when you do this. Could be a little dangerous. I'm gonna get all that extra fat out of there. Because we are trying to be a little bit healthier, we don't want that extra fat. Okay, so there we go. So remove that. We're gonna set that aside. Now before we go to the next step, we're going to um, do a little egg mixture. So here I have two eggs. And then I have about a cup of Parmesan cheese and I used some of the fancy cheese and then um, a little bit of the standard regular Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to put that in there. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to that. Okay, so back to our pan. So we have our pan. We already have some grease in it. We're going to turn the fire back on. Kind of to medium low. So the pan's already hot because we cooked bacon in it. The next thing we're going to do is add the garlic and garlic will burn really easy so we don't want it to be incredibly hot. So here I have some minced up garlic. I'm going to add that to the pan. We're just going to get this aromatic so like one or two minutes. Okay so we have a great garlic smell going on now in the kitchen. Now before it starts to brown or get hard or heaven forbid burn, we're going to add our spaghetti squash. So as I mentioned before, we've already got it kind of shredded. So we're just going to scoop that into our pan and scrape out any extra of the squash that's in there. You want to get it all out. Okay, so that's in the pan. Okay. Now we don't want it to burn, so be careful. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda spread that out nice and evenly, and then I'm gonna get some of my bacon and crumble it up inside of there. I'm gonna take equivalent to, you know, six, seven pieces of bacon. I'm just gonna crumble it in there. And this is for flavor, it's not for like a big chunk of meat, so you just want little tiny pieces. Okay, so that's in there. I'm just get a big quick stir. And the key at this point is we want it to be really hot because we're going to actually turn off the heat before we add the eggs in there. And we want it to be hot enough to actually cook the egg without the fire on. So at this point, we want to make sure that this gets really, really warm. Turn up the heat just a little bit if you need to. Keep in mind that the garlic is in there, so you don't want to burn it. So we're just going to continue to keep an eye on this, keep stirring it until this gets really, really warm. Okay, so we've been cooking for a few minutes. And keep in mind, everything is already cooked thoroughly through, so that's not your concern. It's just getting the temperature up without burning it. So I've just been standing here, stirring it constantly, watching it, waiting for that heat to um, really get through all of the spaghetti squash and the the bacon and everything. Okay, so now that we're hot, we're gonna actually turn the 
uh, gas off, your heat off. And we are going to take the egg parmesan mixture that we made earlier, and we're gonna go ahead and pour that in there. And keep in mind, so we have a hot pan, we have hot food. It's actually gonna cook that egg for us. And you'll kind of actually see it a little bit. It looks, you can see it turning a, a whiter color, so you know that it is cooking. Just stir it quick. You don't want it to be a big pile of scrambled eggs in there. You want to make sure that it's thoroughly distributed throughout the squash. Okay, so I've got that well distributed. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of parm, a little bit of parsley for some color, and then then we're ready to serve. So just add a little bit of parm. This is this is kind of to get the um, the picky people to eat this. It tastes good too, of course. And then just some fresh parsley. Okay. Put that in there and give that a quick stir. Parsley always adds such a nice color to things. So there we go. This will um, just serve this immediately to your family or whoever whoever's eating. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.